get ready. Welcome to the Downtown Aquarium Shark Voyage. During our journey today, please remain seated, keeping your arms, hands, legs, and head inside the train coach at all times while the train is in motion. Our voyage today takes place aboard a specially designed C.P. Huntington train, modeled after the turn of the century steam engines. Wow, it this will is take cool. us the entire wow. seven acres situated along Woo. Houston's Buffalo Bayou. Along the way, we will learn about the downtown aquarium, as well as the importance of sharks and their role in the marine world. The Buffalo <laughs> Bayou rests just beside and behind our property. The historic it's okay, Central you're gonna be Works fine, building, you'll be all right. Just ahead, was built in the late 1800s. Right. Not gonna happen. It was used it's to pump happen. water from the no, bayou for the residents and for the fire no. stations to utilize. No need Over to the panic. next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, nice. and that became the end of the waterworks building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. Wow. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed. Oh yeah, it happened on because of Hurricane water. Harvey. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked flood lines from the last two major flood events. Pretty amazing, right? Oh man, I cannot believe. Welcome to the historic Central Waterworks. Whoa! This part of the century building wow. is now I can't home believe. to 200,000 gallons of seawater. The tunnel in which we are located is approximately Whoa, I see those sharks. Long, and the effort is over 5 inches thick, supporting more than 700 tons of water directly over your head. There are several different nice. species of sharks swimming around us. The largest of the sharks that you see is the sand tiger shark. These sharks are 10 feet long and weigh over 200 oh, pounds. Oh, it is. It is. They are it found is. worldwide and are identifiable by their numerous rows of shark teeth. <laughs> the most numerous sharks in our exhibit are brown sharks, which are frequently found off the coast of Galveston. The brown sharks that you see here are it approximately is. 5 to 7 feet in length and are the most aggressive feeders in the exhibit. I see. It is a common misconception that sharks need to constantly move. However, you may notice some sharks resting on the bottom of the exhibit. They are nurse sharks and spend the majority of their time on the ocean floor. They can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. The most unusual and rare animal located in the tank above you is the sawfish. It is a ray, not a shark, and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 1,000 pounds. Look at that! Look at that! The sawfish uses its toothed saw to kill its prey. The large female sawfish you see actually survived Hurricane Harvey's flood. Due to her ability to live in lower oxygen environments and in both fresh and salt water, she was able to maintain until we could get the filtration re-established. Now that is Houston Strong. Sawfish wow, are considered endangered internationally, and Landry's Incorporated is proud to be working on partnerships with Australian scientists to help save the sawfish. Animals in the exhibit are fed three times oh, look a week. At that, look at that. Divers routinely go into the tank for maintenance, see, see but we oh, never feed our sharks is. while divers are in the water. It would be far too dangerous. Even with the chainmail suits our divers wear, it is. the brown and sand tiger sharks have oh, enough look. power in their jaws look at to that. crush a person's arm or leg. In recent years, there has been a decrease in the shark population. OSEARCH, a nonprofit organization, is leading the way in groundbreaking research about the biology and health of sharks through tagging, biosampling, and data collected from their global shark tracker. You can track great whites online. It's pretty cool. Landy's Incorporated has partnered with OSEARCH to share this valuable research through our development of classroom curriculum. We hope that you have enjoyed our Whoa, look at that. Do you see that the teeth? exciting world of sharks. We'll continue on from here. <laughs> he might be hungry.
Wow, Sharks look at that. Are fascinating animals. It is amazing how it got What a beautiful are. outside. Have any of you heard about the great white shark that escaped from our shark tank during the last flood? Our scientific staff has searched the entire Gulf Coast trying to recapture it. <laughs> it was never found, and some believe that it may still be in the Buffalo Bayou. So keep a lookout as we travel through the park. The Green Bayou. The Downtown Aquarium Project was conceived in 2001 and took 18 months to build. Shark account? Shark wow. It looks Shark like the Great White may have spent some time around here. Look at that boat hull. That's one big bite. Hey everyone, we're approaching a bridge, so be careful not to fall out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Uh-oh. I'm scared of with the shark. Oh <laughs> 